Imagine a landmass cut off from the rest of the world for 80 million years. A wilderness of impenetrable forests and lakes almost twice as deep as Loch Ness. Now suppose that in the cold, dark waters of this lost world lurks a predator big enough to kill a man. This was virtually the last place on Earth to be discovered. When the Maori came here barely 800 years ago, there was one animal they revered above all others. I've always thought of New Zealand as a totally safe place to get in the water, but just recently, two separate reports have caught my eye and made me think again. One incident concerns a young man, Clint Haynes, who is out on a remote lake in New Zealand's South Island. According to this newspaper report, Haynes had gone out to recover a friend's boat propeller from the bottom of the lake. He knew the lake well, or at least he thought he did. At about 100 feet down, something massive suddenly swam towards him. And within seconds, there were more of them. He says up to about 80 pounds in size. In the pitch black, one of these creatures sank its jaws into one of Clint's fins and started to drag him down. Panicking, he dropped his flashlight and swam for his life. Clint's wife, Bev, remembers how this aggressive pack actually pursued him to the surface where Clint was screaming to get out. He'd come up so fast from deep water that he collapsed with the bends. Haynes survived the attack but was plagued by nightmares. For Ian Sutherland, another diver working in northern New Zealand, a similar encounter proved to be more violent. The creature in this case was already a local legend. Its head was reportedly a foot across. Without warning, it rammed in in the chest with enough force to crack one of his ribs. By all accounts, the animals that grabbed and thumped these two divers were supersized eels. Now, I've heard about monstrous sea-dwelling eels. Some, like this European conga, can grow to 10 feet long. And the giant moray is a seriously large animal, certainly big enough to attack humans. One well-known account here of a diver getting his thumb ripped off and eaten. But the idea that a freshwater eel could ever be huge or dangerous comes as a real surprise. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.